There's six minutes left in the race. We've got somebody under one of the charge lights over there. Uh, two people, actually. And it's quite okay for one car to go under the charge lights and then another one to bump them out. It's all, it's all a bit of strategy. On the back of the cars, you can see that there's a little tiny light with some numbers on that. Those are the voltage reading meters for each car. So as the voltage meter reading goes down, um, they need to check in under the pit stop and recharge their soul vitamins. Student teams go to great lengths to reduce the weights of these cars. The demo cars we were watching are designed for durability and they weigh almost 2.5 kilograms. The lighter solar roller weighs in about half of that. In the school competitions, there are five categories. We have a 20 questions category. So by the end of the school year, when the students have built these cars, they need to know the technology behind these cars. They can't get away with going through the course and not knowing why they did it. So we have a panel of judges, and on race day, during the lunch break, when there's no cars racing on the track, we have the students attend a panel of judges, and they are put through 20 questions. These are all technical design questions, so that the students have to answer everything in and out of this building of these cars. The team that knows the most about the technology of the building of these cars wins the 20 questions category. There's also an all-out top speed category, which